Hi everyone and welcome to this video where we'll cover an essential topic for fixed income investors which is yield curve analysis and how it influences fixed income strategies. Understanding the yield curve helps investors make informed decisions about bonds and manage interest rate risk. Let's begin by understanding what a yield curve is. A yield curve shows the relationship between bond yields and their maturity periods. It's often based on government bonds, such as US Treasuries or UK gilts, and helps investors assess expectations about future interest rates and economic conditions. Let's jump into it and plot a simple yield curve using bond yield data for different maturities, like one year, five years, 10 years, and 30 years. We can insert a scatter chart to plot the first two columns for now. So we go to the insert tab, we select scatter charts, and we can simply resize this a bit. And now that our scatter chart is set up, what we can also do is add a trend line, which will make it easier to analyze. The current curve is nominal or upward sloping, which indicates that longer term yields are higher than shorter term yields, indicating expected economic growth. Let's now imagine a flat yield curve, which as the name suggests, refers to a flat line. So little to no difference between short term and long term yields which indicates uncertainty about the future direction of interest rates. And finally, let's consider an inverted yield curve, which as you can see, is where short term yields are higher than long term yields, which often predicts a recession. In other words, investors expect economic conditions to worsen in the future, and therefore demands higher returns for short-term bonds. Let's now consider changes in the yield curve. And to do this, we'll integrate the third column in the table, which contains the later yield. And we'll also add a trend line for this later yield. We can now also consider different strategies based on different scenarios. So for example, when the yield curve steepens, which is what we can see in the graph, long-term yields rise faster than short-term yields, meaning investors are compensated for taking on the risk of holding bonds with longer maturities. A steepening curve often suggests that the economy is expected to grow, but inflation or interest rates could increase. This creates an opportunity to invest in long duration bonds, which offer higher yields. In other words, they may want to increase exposure to 30 year bonds to lock in the higher rate of 4% and reduce holdings of shorter term bonds as these are less attractive. Meanwhile, a flattening yield curve occurs when the difference between short and long term yields narrows, which can occur when either long term yields fall or short term yields rise, signaling that economic growth is expected to slow. In this case, investors often prefer short duration bonds to reduce interest rate risk. You can imagine this as riding a bicycle along a straight road where you want to stay flexible in case the road ahead gets bumpier and therefore you prefer short term bonds which have a smaller commitment. And finally, let's consider what happens when we expect the yield curve to invert. In this case, investors would often move into short term bonds or higher quality, lower risk bonds like government securities to protect themselves ahead of the potential storm. The goal here is capital preservation as the markets may be anticipating lower interest rates in the future. 
In conclusion, yield curve analysis is a key tool for fixed income investors. By understanding the curve and applying strategies based on its shape, one can manage risk and optimize returns for a bond portfolio. Please give this video a thumbs up if you found it useful and subscribe to the Excel Hub for future Excel tutorials, techniques, and examples.